So, John, let's start with those cloud stocks on track here for their eighth day of losses in the last 10 sessions and down more than 15 percent over the past three months. Remember, in 2020, this ETF, the CLOU, surged nearly 80 percent, but now investors book in profit. Pat Walravens over at JMP tells me 10 of his cloud net companies recently reporting results and not one disappointed. Five, actually, he says, reported acceleration in their businesses, but only one traded up on that news, Datadog. Still, Pat continues to see opportunity in this sector. He likes Snowflake, Workday, C3.ai, and Asana, as well, he says, Twilio. Now, that name is on track for its worst month here since March 2020. But Pat is a fan of CEO Jeff Lawson, who is attacking, we know, a big market with communications accounting for about one-third of total IT spend. I also did catch up with Rob Owens over at Piper, who covers the cybersecurity sector. The hack, the ETF that tracks these names, is now down about 10% over the last three months. Of course, that vastly underperforms tech and the broader market. But Rob is telling his clients that there's opportunity here to commit capital. His top buys right now, he tells me, Palo Alto Networks, Rapid7, and CrowdStrike, the leader in endpoint protection, meaning protecting our PCs, servers, and cloud workloads. Demand for CrowdStrike's technology, Rob is betting, will only increase from here, due in part, he says, to the very kinds of ransomware attacks we just saw on the Colonial Pipeline. John, back to you. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. I mean, if, if you were into these narratives, look, if you liked Snowflake at 390 back in December, I guess you should love it at 190 now. So uh, I guess pick through those names. John. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.